Hello and welcome. Today I'll be today and tomorrow I'll be reviewing uh, two of my latest acquisitions. And they arrived yesterday. So the first one, without further ado, let me introduce you to Ralph Lawrence Polo Black Polo Double Black. <coughs> Here's the bottle. This is a 75 ml <coughs> bottle. Sorry. You can see the brand initials on the cap. Here, uh, this was uh, this is the successor of uh, Polo Black, um, which was released in the year 2005, and this was released uh, the following year, 2006. And uh, Polo Black is uh, Polo Black has uh, Polo Black has a silver cap. Uh, this one has a black cap, so that's. The difference uh, um, as far as the bottle is concerned uh, this uh, this is supposedly a darker version of the, of polo black um, but on the contrary I think it, uh, it is not uh, a heavy fragrance but more of a refreshing oriental uh, mix with a prominent opening note of uh, frozen mango this is the first time uh, for me. You know, I got to smell mango in a bottle. Okay, this was created by Ellen Molnar. Top notes are pepper and mango. Middle notes are Indonesian nutmeg and roasted coffee beans. Base notes are juniper berries, woods, and cardamom. Three words to describe this bizarre. Mature and subtle. Bizarre because of its opening note. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the, the opening note. Uh, I think uh, um, the opening note is very refreshing. Thanks to the mango. Uh, the frozen mango. Uh, so it's kind of bizarre. Because I've never... I, for me personally, it was a little bizarre. Because I never smelled a mango before in a perfume. Okay. So uh, I see someone like Pierce Brosnan, uh, his character from Remington Steel, wearing this. Um, and uh, among the sporting personalities, I see um, Bob Bradley, the ex uh, Swansea uh, manager, wearing this one because it happens to be a mature scent. And uh, yeah, so uh, or maybe um, Landon Donovan. Uh, <clears throat> okay. As far as the longevity is concerned, uh, since it was my first wearing, um, um, and my um, opinion is based on that, I got a decent longevity on this one, uh, somewhere between seven to eight hours. Uh, so for longevity, I would give it a six point five. Projection: This one projected for an arm's length for a couple of hours. And then um, turn into a skin scent. So uh, for projection, I would give it a six point eight. Siage, um, Siage was, uh, was a little disappointing. People could only smell it on me uh, when they came close to me. So uh, it hardly left any scent trail. So five point five for Siage. Performance, okay. Um, on my first wearing, I got three compliments, and uh, my performance rating is based on uh, longevity projection CRG as well as the number of compliments I get. So, um, my first wearing, I got three compliments two from uh, women, and one of them was over the top. So, um, I feel this is probably one of those fragrances that women love on men. So for the compliments and an average longevity, I would give it a 7.2. Number of sprays, uh, since it's not a very heavy fragrance, you can go trigger happy with this one. Uh, 20 to 22 sprays, uh, uh, they won't uh, really... Uh, 
send your head spinning so uh, it's a very mild fragrance I feel okay uh, as far as the recommendation scale is concerned I would give it a 6.5 the scent itself is top grade uh, the juice is very good uh, very good quality and you will get compliments if people in, but only if people can smell it um, and that's a big question mark so um, well do give it a try and get a decant or um, spray it on your wrist or on a strip and see if it works for you and if it works go ahead and pick it up so that's it um, see you tomorrow again with another review bye bye